Well, hello there to my lovely Leos. Welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast on the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energies, this is your reading for the end of September, beginning of October 2021. As we allow Spirit to give us some foundational cards. And then we'll get some interpretation from the smallest deck in the world. All right. Sorry. Uh, apologies for the crude setup. I am traveling at this point. Thank you, Spirit. Excellent. All right. Two sevens. And we have the King of Fire. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for everyone else. If it does resonate with you, you want to claim the reading, just say, hey, throw a comment below the video. Really appreciate it when you guys tell me where you're listening from. It's so cool. Also, I uh, want to thank you for likes and for your subscribes to support the channel. I really appreciate that. I really, really do. So, thanks again for those. And let's get started, shall we? All right, so we have the Seven of Air. And the Seven of Air is about... You're not going to conform to the ticky-tack, two-by-two illusion that everybody else has bought into. You're independent. You're non-conforming. You're living life on your terms, as Leos do and should, okay? You don't care about, if, if they don't like it, tough, tough tooties. It doesn't matter. You got to love it, and you're doing what makes you happy, all right? Now, you also have the King of Fire, and the King of Fire is really about being that inspiring person, that leader. You know, in the spiritual sense, the fire in the belly, I'm following spirit, and spirit and I aligned, we're invincible. And people see that and they look up to you and they say, I really, you know, I appreciate what you're sharing with the world. I appreciate um, your wisdom. And, you know, it's about the mastery. You know, and you're mastering it, especially that art of manifestation. You are, you got it all over the place there. You know, you got the seven of earth and the seven of earth. You know, th I love the earth signs. They're all about being grounded. They're all about things you're bringing into the material world. And <clears throat> the seven is uh, no different. The seven is about opening up that new strategy, that new avenue of, um, that's going to bring, that's going to manifest abundance into your life in the material world. You know, you're at a crossroads, you're making a decision, the decision, um, that you make is going to reflect, um, that next thing for you, you know, uh, looking on the progress and saying, Hey, this is where I stand. This is my, and then, you know, like that movie, The Castaway, where he's, where um, he says, do I go right or do I go left uh, at the end of the show, uh, that, that movie, and he makes a decision, and he follows that to the next great thing. So, again, we're going to be in Mercury retrograde at the end of September, beginning of October. Great time to take time to reflect. All right, so we're already going to pre-shuffle, but let's continue to shuffle in the smallest deck in the world and allow Spirit to give us a couple more clarifying cards. Eh, thanks, Spirit. A couple more, Spirit, and we can... Get to this, thank you. Nice. How about one more? One more it is. Okay. All right, so let's just move that there. When you're trying to fit in, to someone else's version of what things, what what should be, things the way things should be. Uh, maybe it's a company, maybe it's a relationship, uh, and they want you to follow this set of rules. Those are their rules, um, and maybe they don't feel right to you, and so you feel trapped. And this, remember, is taking back your power and playing by your own rules. 
you know, and, and it's not like you're doing anything that's hurting anybody because, of course, you're not going to do that. It's about standing in your own strength, standing in your own power, you know, and moving in a direction that's right for you. You won't feel trapped, you know, following the heart and creating, creating. The architect is about creation. It's about you creating the life that you want. It's about the building of something that's bigger than bigger than you actually imagined it could be. You know, and I see that opportunity for you to build. And this thing that you're building, I see a lot of creative juices I'm getting from spirit. It's very creative or in the creative tone to it. Uh, but ideas uh, and inspiration are at the forefront here as you're creating something that's going to reap you the benefit, the quan, the money, all right? Empress hasn't come out in a while. It's coming out for you to say, you're, you're on the right track. Build it and they will come. You keep up the good work and you will be able to reap the benefit, the abundant life. And the abundant life is not just about money. It's about peace. It's about contentment. You know, it's about loving what you do. Love what you do. Money will follow you, you know. And you've also not, you got, not only do you have the Empress, you have the world next to the Empress. And the world card is success in all aspects of your life, your personal relationship, making your, your home the dream home. And in the career front, it's about that opportunity to reap the benefits, shine, move forward, get great progress. All right. So you've got these great opportunities. And the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant expansion. You're expanding on something in this period. You're thinking about it. You're planning it. Then you're taking action, taking that step forward in action to actuate it. Get it going. Once we take a step in the direction that we want to go in, spirit takes that as a sign to open the door for us. So. Nothing's going to, nothing happens when you're sitting like a couch potato watching the game. You actually have to get your buttocks off the couch and you have to go and make the plan and then take one step forward to open that door for you. All right, guys, that's all I've got. Appreciate you taking the time to click that little button. New videos every week that um we push out and uh click the button to support the channel and you have a delicious end of september beginning october we'll see you soon